everybody sing that shit. Hey what's up YouTube this is Marshu Recruiter and I am back with another video and in this video I am going to show you the best ROM which you can use in your Samsung Galaxy G7 2015 variant in 2017. So this is the Enigma version 5 final version and here we have the test version of version 6 also available so I will soon upload a video on that and here uh, let me show you in this CPUZ section. So if here if you can see that Enigma the base version is A5 and uh, it is currently running on the S8 Infinity UI and here you can see that the S8 launcher and here we have the navigation notification keys and blue light filter UHQ and uh, all the basic stuffs and it is fully rebooted and DODX and the best part is if you will try to run it with this after kernel kernel version 2.1.2 you will definitely get a good battery backup and uh, after charging it up to 100% I am using it from almost around 15 to 20 minutes and battery drop down is almost 3% so it's a quite decent because I have overclocked is just with this uh, kernel auditor uh, up to 1.7 GHz here if you can see so it is stopped responding but you can still see it by here so here you can see that it is currently running on the performance mode and all the CPUs are currently running on 1.7 GHz. So it's really quite amazing for the Samsung Galaxy G7 2015 variant. So here you can see that I have not installed much as, as it is my secondary device. But still I want to do a quick review with which you will be easily able to choose the best ROM which I am currently using right now. So first I am quickly going to do uh, the Intuit uh, benchmark test which will help us to no, know whether the performance of this room is good or not so so I am just skipping that part so guys here the test has been completed so here you can see that we are now getting around 45,319 after overclocking our device up to 1.7 GHz. So let me quickly show you again that I am still using it in uh, performance mode in 1.7 GHz and we are getting around 45,000 which is a greatest score ever on any custom ROM ever built for Samsung Galaxy G7 2015 variant. And we started our test on around 97% and you can still see that it is now still on the 95 percent it means almost are running around five to six minutes uh, we have a battery drop down of around 95 percent so let's quickly show you the battery of this device and we can still run it almost around 50 hours and 30 minutes 47 hours sorry and the battery usage and the screen on time you can see that almost 20 minutes has cost and only five percent drop down it means we can use it almost around 5 to 6 hours continuously screen on time and the standby is really amazing almost around one week so i really want to do a quick benchmark test so it is completed and now we will gonna do a quick battery test by playing a simple game that is the asphalt nitro for around 5 to 10 minutes so here the time is 22:56. so we will play it for almost around 5 minutes so here you can see that I am not seeing any type of lag even while using the internet access. So let's see how much battery drop down after 5 to 10 minutes. So if you can see that I am running now around almost 11 minutes of my previous video of on my channel. So let's see after playing gameplay and after 11 minutes how much battery we will still have even on the uh, overclocking. So guys I just ran a quick review, quick video of my channel 
and here we have almost around if you can see 7 minutes has crossed almost 8 minutes and their battery top down is only 2% and I think the S18 is still on the memory and my YouTube is still on the memory so here you can see that the battery backup also in this room is really freaking amazing and I have not installed any type of app so let's see how much RAM we have still available even after the game and the YouTube app in memory so in the RAM section uh, from 1.5 GB we have almost around 163 MB available which is quite good so you can just clean it easily it will be really good for you to make a good battery backup and a performance so if you really want a good backup I really don't prefer you to do it your own uh, overclocking after using the afterburner kernel what you can do is just uninstall these kernel and restart your device and your device will be automatically set to the default it means 300 megahertz to 1.7 gigahertz in the this interactive governor it is the best governor for the best battery life so guys that was a quick review uh, for the enigma s8 final version for the samsung Galaxy g7 2015 the best ROM, the quick review the performance test and the battery test so i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below as always i'll see you in the next video thank you peace out